finding SARS might not solve the problem on ground. All right. SARS criminality and their brutality is a symptom of a bigger problem. All right. And then evaluating their psychological aptitude yeah. is not going to solve the fundamental problem. Oh, okay. Why? Why? Because we have built a society where values have no say. We have built a society where mediocrity and evil is celebrated and preferred. So if we now say that SARS officials are probably mentally ill because of their behavior, what about the politicians that embezzle money that they can't even spend in their lifetime? Are we going to say they are mentally ill too? Are you, uh, can you hear me? Uh, look, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking. I'm, okay. I'm thinking now, about what you're saying. Yeah, I haven't finished. You oh, see, we cannot, oh, Lord. We cannot okay. psychiatrize all criminal behavior. Are you, a psychi- are you a psychiatrist? Yes, I am. Oh, you're telling us not to bother about the excuse of psychology. Yes, oh, okay. yes. Because, awesome. because you cannot say that if somebody behaves badly, that that person is mentally ill. This is a moral question. This is a moral question. This is a moral case. We need to build a society where there are consequences for bad behavior. The people that embezzle money meant for police welfare, what, is, what has happened to them? When people know that they will be jailed for any negative act. Everybody will fall in line. So the, what the IGP is saying, that they are going to subject them to psychological evaluation, is, is, is not going to solve any problem. We have missed it in Nigeria. What we need to reform is to reform the way we think, reform our values. Education for That's all, then. Yes. Free education for all. Yes, that is, that is it. That is just a symptom of a bigger problem. Ending SARS will not solve the problem. Of course, I don't support what they do. I don't support their brutality, their criminality. But ending them is not the problem.